Today in our Farm Basics Time, we're going to talk a little about a tool that farmers used to use very often on the farm, even when Darren and I were growing up, but you don't see it around so much anymore. It's the moldboard plow. Well, you might see it, Brian. You might just see it in a tree belt gathering up some rust because it hasn't been used for a number of years. And, and this is something that's kind of interesting. Well, wait a second, you may be thinking, why would a farmer hold on to a piece of machinery that he isn't going to necessarily use this next year? This often happens on farms and probably another well, Farm Basics topic of just why do farmers hold on to things? Because somewhere down the road, he might find a need for it. Right, exactly. And that's really what it comes back to is someday that farmer might need that moldboard plow again. So let's explain what this is exactly. With that moldboard plow, what we're trying to do is totally turn the soil over. And a lot of times with the moldboard plow, we go fairly deep. It might be 8 inches, 10 inches, 12 inches deep, maybe 14. It's pretty deep. And it used to be a very popular tool because we didn't have very good planting equipment. So you couldn't go out there like we can today in a no-till situation where there's all this residue, some farmers call it trash, but it's residue from the last crop. And you can plant right through that. You can get down and get a good seed to soil contact, good seed placement. But in the old days, you weren't able to do that. Even 30 years ago, we didn't have very good planters. The other main reason why a lot of farmers yet like to use that moldboard plow was to bury a lot of insects and diseases. Today we have much better insecticides and fungicides than we used to, so that's not as important either. Well, those were the positive sides of moldboard plowing. The negative side, and the reason why a lot of farmers have gone away from it, now that we have some new technologies out there we can use, is that you're risking erosion. Whenever you're doing that yeah. much tillage, especially that deep, if you get great big rains shortly after, before that ground kind of settles back down and before you've got some roots in there to hold things together, you could really have some washouts. And that's a huge concern on many acres across the country. Yep, so again, thanks to modern pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, fungicides, we as farmers don't have to do all that tillage that we used to have to in order to try to control those weeds. But anyway, Darren mentioned erosion. The other thing that happened on the negative side was soil organic matter was depleted. What ends up happening is if you inject lots of oxygen down deep into the soil, then that speeds the process of organic matter mineralization. So you lose the organic matter in your soil. Long term, that's a bad thing for the soil. There's not as much water holding capacity, nutrient holding capacity, or even it's not as spongy as it was, so it compacts a lot easier. Now here's one reason why some farmers have gone back to moldboard plowing, at least on a short, uh, limited basis on their farm. It's that we've got all these nutrients that are at the top of the soil. We we're used to doing that tillage for many years, and now farmers have reduced tillage, and we've got nutrient stratification up at the top of the soil. So there are farmers that have definitely talked about, man, maybe I need to every once in a while flip things over and flip some of that residue down and get the nutrients mixed back up so they're kind of evenly spread through my soil again. Yeah, I'd have no problem doing that once every 10 or 20 years, it would be fine. And then you can go back to no-till, strip-till, or whatever minimum tillage practice you want to do. The other thing some farmers will do is they'll do strips with the moldboard plow, and then in opposite years they might do other strips or something like that to try to reduce that erosion and not having the whole field moldboard plowed. But anyway, this used to be a great tool for farmers. Fortunately, we don't have to use it a lot anymore, but occasionally there is a need for it. Occasionally we do see some farmers using the moldboard plow. Well, one of the reasons that they used to use this tool was to control weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 